you guys, uh, it's Renee with Camp Size with Renee B. And today we are going to work arms. Um, we're going to sit in a chair and we are going to take it easy, but do our form. And we're going to lift slowly. Now, depending on where you are, where you are at in your um, fight and process, you may not be at a point where you can lift weights yet, or you may not be at a point. So, like. If you are still in ther uh, physical therapy to lift your arms up like this, you may not have this full range of motion yet, so it might be easier to just come up halfway, okay? Or wherever you're at, or wherever you um, are comfortable. If you're like four weeks out and you're getting your range of motion back, just do what you can. Pay attention to your body. You guys know that. You know that drill. Make sure your doctor says, okay, you may not be allowed to lift weights yet, but if you can, um, maybe do a one pound weight or get two water bottles, you know, that weighs something similar or two cans of soup. Um, you don't have to. Um, even if you can't lift weights yet, you can still do the workout and um, without the weights because you're still moving and that's getting that oxygen flowing through you and the blood moving and pumping. And if you're in chemo, you need to keep that going. And it will just make you feel better if you do something good for yourself. So we're going to do some arms. So we're going to stretch them out first, okay? seated, grab those weights, and we're just going to do slow and steady, okay? We're just going to do a little bicep uh, work today, maybe a little chest, but we're going to do it today. You ready? Okay. Let's breathe. So, you're sitting up tall, shoulders are tucked under, abs are tucked in, and you're breathing. Breathing out as you're doing the work. Your abs are in. Okay, now if you're strong enough, we're going to do a lateral lift, okay? So arms up your sides, elbows slightly bent. We're going to lift them up. Do not touch the shoulders, okay? You do a lighter weight to do that. And if you go to no weight, that's fine. If you want to modify with a weight, can do one arm at a time, right? One arm at a time, take some of that pressure off, and you're not uh, overdoing it, okay? Okay, let's try for um, an upward one. body will learn how to breathe in. Okay, now, you can get your arms up, all right, to your shoulders and lift them up depending on your range of motion. Right here, shoulders are soft, they're not tucked up in your ears, okay? Abs are tucked in, but you keep that lower back. a bicep curl that we're not going to do an arm curl this time we're going to do them out okay so it's just elbows are tucked in arms are out and then you lift them up okay and again you can modify this by just doing one arm at a time if you need to you can do 
can do it without weights if you need to. Just concentrate on tightening that muscle. All right, if anything hurts, don't do that. <laughs> just stop doing that. more after this one too. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Let's do it this way. Alright, so weights down and stretching those arms out again. Hold them a little longer this time. And if you get it over, you should stretch it out. Well, if you can't, just keep stretching these other other stretch. Okay? Shoulder roll. Okay. And pull it down. All right. All right. You guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm hoping that you'll find these exercises helpful. Um, I just know it's what, it's how. It is totally how I survived my cancer fight. Um, you're always fighting. You're always fighting, and you always will be. But I know it's what helped keep me energized and focused and moving forward uh, through chemo and uh, all the surgeries that you go through and all the meds and how they mess with you and everything like that. So um, I just feel it's really important. So I thought I'd go back to the basics and that we would slow it down. And for those of you who are struggling with your energy or wherever you're at in this fight, um, that these can help you. So at least you can say, hey, I did five minute workout today and be proud of yourself for working so hard, okay? Um, I thank you for joining me. You guys know the drill. You're talking to your doctors, making sure it's okay to exercise. You're listening to your body. You know, if you can hold weights or not or if you can do more reps. Um, and you are drinking lots of water, water, water. And what's the most important thing you're remembering? That you are stronger. Love you guys.